Hello there, I've been in a good five minute makeup groove lately, so I thought I'd share my current everyday routine before the end of the year if you're looking for ways to streamline your steps and save time heading into the busy holiday season. November is also my favourite time of year, it's my birthday month, I had a few different celebrations and other special occasions, so I introduced some new and old favourites to dress things up a bit and enhance that five minute routine. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, the website builder I used to make MatildaOnVideo.com, where you can find all of my previous everyday makeup routine videos in a blog post for a walk down memory lane. I don't know if any of you are the same, but if I have something special on, I want to play. Busy mornings or a casual dinner are for fast, fuss-free makeup, stick to what I know works, but getting ready for something more special is part of the fun, so I'll put more time into a look, experiment with some new products, and mix things up a bit. Not mixing it up a lot this year. I didn't go all out, just a couple of dinners, so I wanted an elevated version of my usual minimal makeup. I'll give you the breakdown. My recent five minute face looks like glowy moisturizer and SPF, if it's daytime of course, a few drops of skin tint, creamy concealer, brow gel, cream blush, cream shadow, brown mascara. But for my birthday and other occasions, I introduced some additional eyeshadow textures and shades, a bit of bronzer and extra lip options. First, a moment for my nails because it's jacaranda season in Australia. November means Movember because jacaranda trees bloom and turn our streets purple. Lilac's one of my favourite spring nail colours anyway, but an olive and dune shade called jacaranda is even better. Really enjoying their quick dry formula during a busy time of year. It's slightly thinner than their regular polish, so it sets faster, about one to two minutes per coat. Onto base, a luxurious glowy moisturiser entered my routine recently. Victoria Beckham Beauty's Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturiser was created in collaboration with Augustinus Bader, the scientist behind one of the leading luxury skincare lines. This formula has a lightweight, silky texture with very fine gold pearls or shimmer, so it gives your skin an incredible glow. Not vampire glittery, don't worry, just compliment worthy and healthy. The latest lightweight skin tint I've been loving is Summer Fridays. I was at the launch event for this sheer fluid with one of the founders, Lauren, earlier in the year. It has sheer to light coverage for a no makeup makeup complexion boost. I like applying three small dots mixed together between my fingers, then gently spread outwards from my nose, chin and forehead. To add more coverage on any redness or spots, a few dots of Merit's The Minimalist Stick does the trick. Love how creamy and natural it is, pressed into the skin with their brush number one. Great seamless finish when you press or pat with the brush rather than stroking or swiping it around. Always like a lightweight fluid to brighten under my eyes and lately it's been YSL Touche Club. Smooth, thin, radiant. I lightly pat it on with my ring fingers. Again, patting seems to create a nicer finish than rubbing. Nothing revolutionary to report in the brow department, just Glossier Boy Brow keeping things tidy. I promise a reel or short on my at home eyebrow tinting routine is still on my filming list, probably in the new year now, given we're rapidly approaching end of year favourite season. A new birthday bronzer choice Victoria Beckham's Matte Bronzing Brick is refillable and so weighty, comes in five shades, all duos, so you can concentrate on one side, then the other for dimension. Nice as a simple wash of tan shadow too. A light dusting of shade two along my hairline and cheekbones with my old Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt brush warmed up my post winter skin in such a natural way. Recent blush buddies. Since revisiting the Violette FR range when it launched in Australia, Bizu Blush in Louise has not left my makeup bag. This neutral beige slash pink is quite subtle, it almost disappears into the skin, so I do a fair bit of layering because I love this fresh, youthful colour. For something stronger and sun kissed, I still can't go past Merit Flush Balm in Fox. When I love a formula as much as this, I always want to see a brand make more and more colours, but I actually don't need them to because this rosy terracotta is perfect. Balmy, buildable, dewy, with a nice natural sheen. Two everyday smudge all over the lid one and done shadows. Rare Beauty's All of the Above eyeshadow stick formula is fantastic. So smooth and pigmented, but easy to sheer out and smoosh with your fingers. Contentment is a lovely rose taupe that probably just translates as golden, glowy, and brightening sheared out on me. 
big fan of Merritt's solo shadow in studio, a cool taupe that actually has some warmth and caramel rosiness on my cool toned skin. I find it so easy to apply, incredibly long wearing, don't need primer and I always need primer. On my actual birthday I wore a wash of studio all over the lid, then the contentment stick closer to my lash line. Palettes feel like playtime for a one and done shadow lover, so for two other special occasions this month I wanted something elegant but still understated, just an upgrade from my usual look. Enter Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Sous le Sable, a browny, rosy quartet stunning as solo artists or as a choir. I wore this rosewood all over using my Refa 01 blending brush, then the darker rosy brown sneaking under my bottom lash line, defining my top lashes and winged out a little using the tiny end of Merritt's brush number two, then a finger pat of the rose gold sparkle in the center of the lids to add some light. Such a beautiful combination, dressy for a celebration or simple for every day. Hello new favorite mascara, YSL Beauty Lash Clash in Uninhibited Brown has amazing volume and length, a light layers, great for daytime, but so dramatic when you layer it. This isn't waterproof but the way it lasted through seeing All of Us Strangers, the new movie with Andrew Scott and Paul Mezcal, which might be the saddest film I've ever seen but I did not have a speck of mascara anywhere after crying hysterically, very impressive. Sadly no statement lip, bold birthday colour, my lips have just been too dry at the moment so I had to keep it pretty low key. For a hint of natural colour in a couple of swipes, Bobbi Brown Crush Lip Colour in Italian Rose. Again, I know, when I say I always have a crushed lip colour in my bag and swap out the shades, I often end up with two because this one survives every bag lip product cull. I just love this warm rose and easy match so much. Then when my hair was up for a dinner, it's gloss go time. Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow was a nice fit with the rose gold shimmer from the Tom Ford palette. So lightweight and comfortable with glassy, wet look shine and shimmer, a sherbetty, peach Peachy Vanilla bestseller for a reason. Earlier in the year I planned to share more frequent glimpses into my everyday makeup bag with you and managed three videos, an everyday summer lip list and a recent everyday skincare update. There's a blog post on MatildaOnVideo.com where you can find all of those everyday episodes in one place. My website's like the easygoing younger sister of my YouTube channel and Instagram where I can group together previous uploads and topics for you. I particularly love how well the platform works with other social media links. I can embed content from YouTube so easily. So if you'd like to get started blogging or customizing a stylish website template, after a free trial you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. A few new entries into my everyday routine here, but quite a lot of consistency with formulas and shades that are very reliable favorites. I'd love to hear how you take a quick and easy makeup routine and dial it up for more of a special occasion. Which elements do you lean into? Please share the everyday products you've been reaching for regularly too. Thanks for watching. See you next time.